Here's a quick tutorial on how to make a platform that jumps around based on different intervals of time. This one is jumping to a new location every three seconds, but you could set it to any interval of time you wanted to, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a platform. It could be an enemy or an obstacle, anything you want to. So let's get started. To get here, you'll go to Create in Game Lab, and you'll have an empty project. The first thing to do is to pick out the image that you want connected with. Uh, the image that you want to move around, right? So in this case I have a platform, but again, it could be anything. Next we need to make that sprite, so I'll drag this one over and call it platform, and this set animation will connect that image to it, and then we need a draw loop, and inside of it we need it to say draw sprites. Okay, so that's too big to jump around the screen because it takes up the whole screen, so the next thing I want to do is use scale to shrink it, Okay, that's a pretty good size. Now I need to give it a starting position. I'm going to start with this low position and then I'll work my way up to this corner. So I'll put my mouse right here and then I'm going to look at the X, Y values under the reset. Looks like about 70 for the X and 350 for the Y, so I'm going to change these. Alright, so ooh, that's too close to the edge. I'm cut off a little bit, so I'm going to scoot it over about 100. Okay, that looks good. Now I need to make a timer, and I'm going to use that timer to move it around. So just under variables, up here above the draw loop, I'm going to start the timer at zero. Inside the draw loop, I'm going to increment. So I'm going to say timer equals timer plus one. I've done this in a few other videos. And then just so you can see that that's happening, I'm going to draw the timer on the screen with a text block. And I need to make it bigger take off the word text and the quotes, and I'm just going to put the variable value timer. And I'm going to stick it over here out of the way in the bottom right hand corner where I know nothing's going to happen. That looks like 250, comma 350. Let's we'll see what that looks like. Okay, uh, I'm noticing I need a background. Next. Inside the draw loop. Okay, so my timer is running. It's pretty fast though, right? So I uh, need to slow things down. So instead of adding one, I'm going to add 0 0.33. That's still faster than a second. Forgot a zero in there. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. That's pretty close. Now if the decimals bother you, you can round that with a math round. Right here. So I can round it before I display it. Two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now I just need to use this timer value to control where it actually is. So I'm going to need a few ifs. I'm going to say if the timer is greater than uh, three seconds, then give it a new X and Y. Oops. Now, let's put my mouse where I want it to be, maybe right about the middle of the screen, so 200, 200. And let's try that one. So when it gets to 3, it should move. Or when it's greater than 3, it should move. All right, and now we're just going to do it again, so I'm going to copy this guy. And this time I'll say when the timer gets to 6, I'm going to set him up here. That looks like a 300 the x value and 50 for the y. Alright, so at 3 seconds it should move to the center, and at 6 seconds it should move to the top corner. Looks pretty good. Now the only other thing we might want to do is have it come back here after, like in an old style Mario game it would go back to the beginning position, so we need one more if to do that, we'll be done. So let's say if the timer is greater than 6, we're going to set it back to its original position of 100, 350. So I'll just take these two guys and copy and paste. 100, oh, 350. And I need to do one more thing inside here. I need to set the timer back to zero so that we can start again. That way these other two loops will continue. All right, let's try it. Oof. 
something didn't happen. Oh, look, these are both six, so we need to make this one like uh, nine. Okay, hopefully when we get to nine, the timer goes back to zero, and we're back there. And so now that it's all working, you could come back and you could take this text block and delete it. We don't need it anymore, and you're done.